A major fight is brewing over a state government plan to let private companies build accommodation in Queensland national parks. The proposed leases include parts of the renowned Thorsbourne Trail on Hinchinbrook Island. But the Thorsbourne family and traditional owners have vowed to fight commercialisation of the trail in memory of the couple who dedicated their lives to conserve it. Laura Gautry has this exclusive story. Hinchinbrook, Australia's largest island national park, is World Heritage listed. The Thorsbourne Trail snakes 32 kilometres along its east coast and is considered one of the great wilderness walks. It's incomparable, but I don't think there's an island on the Australian coastline that even comes close to it. Hikers camp and carry their own supplies, but that could be about to change. The Queensland Government has opened expressions of interest for private businesses to build accommodation at three sites along the trail on up to 60-year leases within the National Park. The eco-accommodation could include cabins, retreats or glamping. We absolutely believe that we want to partner with the private sector who are best placed to offer that genuine tourism experience. I think those other options are already available. Celebrated conservationist Margaret Thorsborn AO dedicated her life to defending Hinchinbrook Island and the trail is named after her late husband, Arthur. This area is one of those particularly beautiful places that should be kept intact. This week, as friends and family gathered for her funeral, there was anger at the government's plans. She would have been absolutely appalled. There is no place for private enterprise in national parks. The lease plans extend beyond Hinchinbrook to the Whitsunday Islands National Park and the Great Sandy National Park along the Fraser Coast. Besides accommodation, private companies are also invited to provide commercial activities, tour guides and equipment hire. We're also going to be very focused on working with traditional owners. Go away and leave it alone. Leave something as a memorial to a, to a very fine lady. On Hinchinbrook, the burnt-out remains of a failed government lease lie abandoned. The cyclone-ravaged resort and sewerage treatment plant accumulated almost a million dollars in debt to state and local governments. The Thorsbourne Trail is no easy feat, with difficult terrain and only 40 campers able to stay here at any one time. Walkers say that seclusion is part of the attraction, but the tender documents show the government is willing to entertain proposals to modify that restriction. The government will also pay for all the civil works and give companies a coordinated approval process. We're concerned that uh, it could be fast-tracked such that those safeguards and full assessment is not in place and the average person may not have their say. Businesses have until the end of November to submit their proposals. Laura Gartry, ABC News, Hinchinbrook Island.